Hey everyone, Mirai here, and welcome to part one of this multi-boxing gameplay video guide. This guide is a video series which will hopefully take multi-boxers, new multi-boxers, from knowing nothing to knowing something. It's going to show how to get started with multi-boxing once you've completed the initial quick setup wizard in IS Boxer, because I can imagine that there are plenty of people that they get through that, they get their characters logged into the game world, and then they're left, they're left shrugging their shoulders, asking, well, what's next? What do I do? When does this multi-boxing magic begin to happen? And that's what this series is here to address. Now, I am going to be showing it off in World of Warcraft because it's the game that I primarily play, and it's the game where I feel most comfortable presenting this information. But don't let that, don't let that turn you off if you don't play World of Warcraft because MMORPGs, they tend to play very similar to each other. And there will still be a lot of useful information for both gameplay and Icebox are found throughout this entire series. I would also like to mention that if at any point in this video or any other video in this series, you're having issues, you're hitting a wall, you're having trouble trying to set something up, it's not, it's not setting up the way that I'm showing it on screen, then I urge you to seek assistance on the Iceboxer forum the Eyes Boxer live chat, even dual-boxing.com, which is another community of multi-boxers, or check the descriptions below these videos because there will be a plethora of links that link to other videos of mine, other videos of Lax's, as well as the Eyes Boxer wiki. There's a lot of good information there. With that being said, here are my three mages. We've got Excitable, we've got Excited, and we've got Unexcited. She's just not happy to be here. Uh, as you can see, I'm just clicking on my windows to swap between them. That's standard practice right there. Uh, I am starting with mages because in my opinion, they are the easiest to, uh, well, casters, sorry. Casters are the easiest to learn to multi-box with. Uh, even if you hate casters, I just recommend, I suggest that just create a throwaway team of, of casters to start to learn the ropes of uh, multi-boxing. Now, the next step up from there would be maybe like a pet class, another ranged or not ranged pet class, but a pet class where you have extra micromanagement. Melee, melee is a step up from there, and melee can be very frustrating to multi-box if you've never done it before. And even on top of that, uh, it becomes more complex when you begin performing multiple roles um, in a single party. So tank and healer, healer and DPS, or the full-on Holy Trinity tank, healer, and DPS. I don't know if that's holy or not, but it's the Trinity. Um, so in World of Warcraft, before you log in, before you get ready to log in here, you need to check if the Iceboxer add-on is installed and enabled. In order for this to be installed, you would have uh, needed to export your settings from Iceboxer to Interspace. So if you're already this far, you've most likely exported your settings, so the Iceboxer add-on should be here. You just need to make sure that it is enabled on all of your characters. And it is. Okay. So let's log into the game world. Now, I just did something funny there. I, I turned on a repeater, and I'll explain it in a moment. Now, right as you log into World of Warcraft, you may see a, an error about F11 bound to toggle bag 3, and that Iceboxer is overriding that binding. Now, when, you've, when the add-on is enabled, and you first log into the game world, the add-on is going to print out a bunch of information. It's going to tell you that it's loaded. It's going to tell you what character set you've loaded. It's going to tell you what character it expects in that window, which is important. If you are loading a different character than it expects, you're going to get a pop-up, also a, a box that pops up and says, did you, you know, something along the lines of, did you log the character, in, wrong character into this slot? Which uh, means things may not work as they should. Um, Below that, it loads the key bindings, and it, it will warn you if there's any conflicts between the key bindings that are set in Ice Boxer and the key bindings you have in game. So F11 is used by Ice Boxer, but it's also used by Toggle Bag 3, and Ice Boxer is able to override that in-game binding. If you see anything else here, that could be bad. If follow and assist aren't working, if if your um, other DPS keys aren't working as you expect them to work, and you have other warnings down here, that could be a good... Uh, that could be a, a reason why. So, um, as for these toggles, these these toggles up here. So, the one on the left is for key maps. 
and you always want that on. If you're trying to multi-box, if you're trying to do things as a multi-box, you want key maps to be enabled all the time. That's crucial. And the key binding for that, if you don't want to click, you can also use your um, keyboard, Shift-Alt-M for key maps. And the one on the right here is for broadcasting, also referred to as repeater, repeater and broadcasting, interchangeable terms that we use. Um, so you want broadcasting to be off. If you see a mouse cursor in all of your game clients, like you're seeing now, and you're trying to move, you're trying to DPS, you're trying to fight an enemy with broadcasting on, it's probably not gonna work out too well. You typically want broadcasting off. And the shortcut for that is Shift-Alt-R. So broadcasting off, key maps on. Now, how did I get this here? Because you guys are like, uh, this is in the upper left-hand corner in my screen. How'd you get this in the middle? So, okay, next, you wanna bring up the, uh, the Ice Boxer in-game GUI. And the default shortcut for that is Control-Shift-Alt-G. And this can be changed in your character set in IS Boxer. So you bring that up, you got this, uh, this box here. You wanna make sure you're on menus, which it is by default. And you can just click on, the, uh, click on the title bar of any menu, just move it around and place it where you want. So we're gonna cover this in a, in a moment, but this is, you may or may not have this green bar. If you do, it is meant to go over your action bars. It may or may not line up exactly depending on the scale of your UI, but you can adjust that in IS Boxer as well in the menu template. So you can see on my other characters, it hasn't moved. This is there because I already put it there, but these, uh, these, green, these green boxes, they haven't moved. So how do we fix that? Well, I can position them manually in every screen, or I can just position them in one screen, hit sync and hit save. So I've synced their positions and I've saved it. And you can see in my other screens now, my other characters, the overlay is over the action bars. Okay, so when you first log into the game world, you get your character set ready, everything's working. You wanna check for assist and follow. These are very important. Uh, you wanna check for every window that assist and follow is working correctly. First, you need to be in a party. In World of Warcraft, the shortcut to get into a party is Shift-Alt-I. That will invite the rest of your characters into a party. If you're playing a game besides World of Warcraft, you may need to create your own macro or you can just do it manually by, by clicking on your character's portraits and uh, inviting them. And then from there, you can either go to their screens and click accept one by one, or uh, you turn on repeater. This is what repeater is used for. So when you wanna click things in multiple windows, uh, I just line up my mouse cursor over the accept button. I click it and here I am, I'm in a party now. So let's check for follow. I'll get some distance on my, uh, on my main character. I'll hit my follow key binding. By uh, the default key binding for follow is Alt F. So you can see that they followed me there. Change windows, check it on this character. Working fantastic. Check it on my third character. Hit follow and everything's good to go. Follow is working. So I'll come back to my main character here. Now let me show you something that some people make a mistake on. Uh, I'll move forward a little bit. Everybody, uh, all my characters are lined up or lined up straight. And I'll even um, I'll move back a little bit here. So some people try to move around in the 3D game world with, re with repeater enabled, with broadcasting enabled, which is not a thing you want to do. And I'll show, uh, I'll show you why. So here we are, we're walking forward and everything's kind of working out. And then I turn right and then I turn left. Okay, and um, well, you can see that for some reason I'm behind my other characters. You can see that they're just going to veer off into different directions. It's not going to work out too well, but uh, that's generally why you use follow if you have that command, if you have that function available to you. So let's check for assist now. I target this deer, and you can see that right here, is my, uh, I'm targeting the deer here. My slaves don't have anything targeted, but when I hit my assist key binding, which is Alt A, they also pick up the same target. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn on repeater. I'm going to hit escape to clear my targets, turn off repeater and switch windows. I'm doing this because um, it gives a better visual that my characters are actually assisting each other correctly. So uh, in this, on this character, I'll click the deer, got it targeted. 
I'll hit assist. Both my other characters pick it up. So I will clear my target again, change over to the third character, target the deer, hit assist. They pick up the target. Assist is working fantastic. Okay, so let's do the first quest. Let's do the first quest. So the basic way, the, the basic standard way to um, interact with an NPC is to pull up alongside of it, turn on repeater, line up your mouse cursors in every window, and then you can click on the NPC and interact with it. But sometimes, sometimes your cameras are like way off into the distance somewhere and it doesn't work too well. You can see my middle character isn't going to click on the NPC correctly because the mouse, because her camera is turned sideways. Now, depending on the game, you may have to constantly readjust your character's cameras in order for this to work. It may become a little tedious. Um, World of Warcraft is a very multi-boxing friendly game though. It does have the option to keep the camera behind the character. So it does work out well in this game. So I'll right click on the NPC. I'll bring up the uh, dialogue pane. I'll accept the quest. And now I have to go kill six uh, young night savers. Now by default, Icebox or broadcasts one through equals on your action bar. And that's exactly what this overlay does too. The overlay gives a, a visual feedback. So let me, I'll target the night saber, I'll hit assist, and then I'll hit my DPS key. So this is my spell. And you can see that the menu is giving a little bit of visual feedback there. It's uh, showing it's showing that I'm actually pressing the button and everything is working. Now you can see kind of why casters are, are really the easiest. You just point and shoot anything you want to kill from a distance. It's, it's very easy. There's not a lot of management with casters. Just very simple and straightforward. So I'm also not going to loot any of these uh, mobs. One, they don't have anything I need. And two, um, I cover looting in a separate video. So one of the future videos covers looting. And we'll kill this last one. That whole time I was just, I was targeting with my main, I was hitting my assist key binding, and then I was hitting my DPS key binding. Come back and turn this in the exact same way that I picked it up, pull up alongside the NPC, turn on repeater, line up my mouse cursors, right click, choose my quest reward, and complete the quest. And we'll accept the next one too. So turn off repeater and then I can move around again. And that is, um, that is multiboxing in its rawest form. That's it. This is standard procedure right here. Um, the rest of this series is going to take you from just doing basic, basic stuff like this. And it's going to take you all the way up to being able to, um, or at least trying to be able to run a mixed team of tank DPS healer. So looking forward to that. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next video.